Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome to week six of the Great Canadian Landscapes Crochet Along. This week we are going to be crocheting our way across the province of Ontario. And for the panel this week, I have chosen this beautifully textured uh, pattern that is comprised of popcorn stitches, as well as these shell stitches. So this is the panel we are going to work on today. As always, you will need a little bit of worsted weight yarn and your 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, a complete list of the materials, as well as an introduction, and the panels for the first five weeks can be found for free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and I will link that for you here in the notes of this video. While you're here please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel which I like to update weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. Thank you so much for joining me everyone. Let's crochet! So for our panel today if you would like to change the size of your panel, the chain multiple that you are going to need is a multiple of six stitches plus two. If you are working the pattern as written, you will start with a starting chain of 146. Today I'm only going to be working a small swatch of the pattern just so you can gain an idea of how to work the stitch in this panel. So I will be making a chain of 20 stitches, which is a multiple of six stitches plus two. If you are working the pattern as written, you will start with a starting chain of 146. But for my swatch, I'll begin by chaining 20. and 20. For row one of this pattern you are going to single crochet in the second chain from hook and in each chain all the way across. So this is my first chain and in my second chain I will work my first single crochet stitch and then single crochet in each chain all the way across. After single crocheting in each stitch all the way across, you are going to turn your work and you're going to start by chaining three. When you chain three in this pattern, it will always count as a stitch, as a double crochet stitch. So once you have chained three, you are going to work two double crochet stitches in the same chain as, uh, as your chain, or in the same stitch as your chain three. So in that first stitch, work two double crochet stitches then you are going to skip two stitches one two and you're going to work your first front popcorn stitch in the next stitch so skip two stitches to work your front popcorn stitch in the next stitch you are going to begin by single crocheting four stitches all in the same stitch. So there's two, three, and four. Then to complete your popcorn stitch, you are going to remove your hook from that loop. You're going to insert it from the front to the back in the first single crochet of that uh, four single crochets in the same stitch, so that four single crochet cluster there. Going to insert your hook from front to back. Once you have your hook through the back, you're going to pick up that loop that you dropped and you're going to pull it through that first single crochet. So it's going to pull those four single crochet stitches together into a bit of a ball. Okay. 
And then to complete your popcorn stitch, you're going to chain one. Next, you will skip the next two single crochets and then you're going to shell in the next stitch. To make your shell, you're going to work five double crochet stitches in the stitch indicated. So there's one double crochet stitch, two in the same stitch, three, four, and five. So five double crochet stitches all in the same stitch is your shell stitch. You are then going to skip the next two stitches and in the next stitch work one more front popcorn stitch. For your front popcorn stitch you're going to work four single crochet stitches all in the same stitch. There's one, two, three, and four. You're going to remove your hook from your loop. You're going to insert it back in the top of that first single crochet of uh, that four single crochet group. You're going to pick up your loop once again and pull it through that first single crochet stitch. It's going to bunch those four together and you're going to chain one. Now you are simply going to repeat that shell popcorn stitch pattern. So skip the next two stitches, one, two, work a shell in the next stitch, which is your five double crochet stitches, all in the same. And five. Skip the next two stitches, work one front popcorn in the next, so work your four single crochet, drop your loop, insert your hook from front to back in the first single crochet, pick up your loop again and pull it through, then chain one. When you come to the end of your row, you will have three single crochet stitches left. You will uh, skip the next two stitches and then you are going to work to three double crochets in the last stitch. So there's one, two, and three. That brings you to the end of row two. For row three, you are going to turn and you're going to chain one. You will then single crochet in the first double crochet stitch. And then shell in the chain one space above, or the chain one stitch above that popcorn, front popcorn stitch that you had made. So to work your shell, it's five double crochet stitches all in the chain one of that next popcorn stitch. Now working in the center double crochet, so the third double crochet of your next shell stitch, you are going to work a back popcorn stitch. To work the back popcorn stitch, you are going to work your four single crochet stitches in the top of that third double crochet stitch of that shell. And you're going to remove your hook from your loop and this time when you insert your hook in that first single crochet, you're going to insert it from the back of your work to the front. Then you're going to pick up that loop that you dropped, pull it back through, 
and chain one. So what that's going to do is it's going to keep your popcorn stitches all on the same side of your work. You will work one shell stitch in the chain of the next popcorn. followed by a back popcorn stitch in that third double crochet of your next shell. You are going to repeat that pattern all the way across. Remember for your back popcorn, you're inserting your hook from the back to the front, drawing up your loop and pulling it through and then chain one. shell in the top of the next front popcorn. And when you come to your final uh, three stitches there, your three double crochet stitches, you're going to end with a single crochet in the top of that start uh, beginning chain three, that beginning turning chain. So just work your final single crochet stitch in the top of that stitch. And that is the end of row three. For row four, you're going to turn your work and you're going to begin by chaining three. You'll remember that this always counts as a double crochet. You will then work two more double crochet stitches in that same stitch. So in the base of your turning chain, one and two. Next, in the top of the third double crochet of your next shell, you will work one front popcorn. In the uh, chain stitch of the next popcorn stitch, you will work a shell stitch. And you are going to repeat that pattern all the way across. In the third double crochet of your next shell, you will work a front popcorn stitch. And in the chain of the next popcorn stitch, you will work a shell. In the third double crochet of the next shell stitch, you'll work another front popcorn. And when you come to your final single crochet stitch there at the beginning, you're simply going to work three double crochet stitches. And that's it for this panel. So what you're going to do for the rest of until your measurement, uh, your panel measures nine inches or less, or slightly less, you are going to repeat rows three and four. When you come to the end of your panel, when it's about nine inches wide, you are going to fasten off and then you are going to work the edging for this pan panel in the same way that you've been working the edging for each of uh, these pieces of the pattern. To find the written instructions for that, you can head on over to my blog at richtexturescrochet.com 
where you will find the written instructions for the single crochet edging around each of the panels. Thank you so much for joining me this week on Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you here again soon. Happy crocheting! Bye!